Hello everyone, small but useful. This phrase is very accurately suited to modern current clamps from the company Winabex. Despite their compact size, these current pliers have excellent characteristics and additional functions. By the way, there is a nice bonus for every viewer of my channel, a significant discount when buying these current dicks. In the description under the video, I will leave a link by clicking on which you can purchase this product. There will also be a promo code for the discount in the description. Well, now let's take a closer look at what these current ticks are capable of. When Apex current pliers are supplied in such a green box, Inside the box there is a cloth case for storing current tongs and their accessories. And here is such an unusual instruction. We will try to find the characteristics of this device here. Measurement of DC voltage up to 1000 V. The margin of error is 0.8%. In the main range, up to 600 volts, 0.5%. These are very good indicators. The next sheet, measurement of AC voltage up to 750 volts. The margin of error is 1.2%. In the main range, the error is 0.8%. Next, the measurement of direct current, up to 60 amps. The margin of error is 2%. And here is a very important feature of these current ticks. They are capable of measuring very small currents starting from 5 milliamps. Thanks to this, they can even be used to detect leakage currents, and this is a huge plus of this device. Then the measurement of alternating current, also up to 60 amps. The minimum alternating current that this model of the device can measure, namely 268B, is only 2 milliamps. Not every current clamp can boast of such parameters. The frequency range in the AC measurement mode is from 30 Hz to 1 kHz. Next, the resistance measurement, up to 60 mAh, the margin of error is 2.5%. When measuring up to 6 mAh, the error will be 0.8%. The device has standard functions of checking the electrical circuit and checking diodes with a voltage of 3 volts on the probes. The next sheet, and a few more parameters. Measuring capacity up to 60 millifreds, that is, up to 60,000 microfreds. The error is 5%, but when measuring up to 6 millifreds, the error is 3.5%. Frequency measurement up to 10 MHz. The margin of error is 0.5%. It is noted here that frequency measurement is only available in the 268B model. Temperature measurement up to 1000 degrees Celsius. It is quite obvious that these current pliers have excellent parameters, which are quite enough for almost all types of measuring and repair work. Now let's look at the configuration of this device. A thermocouple. USB cord for charging the device. And probes. The measurement limit of these probes is 1000 volts, but nothing is said for the current strength. The cord is long. It is not silicone, but it is soft enough. And here are the current ticks themselves. When Apex current pliers are very compact, their length is only 17 centimeters. If you compare them with other current ticks, for example, like this, then these look very small. But thanks to such a small size, they are convenient to use, and they do not take up much space. The Win Apex 268B current pliers have a large screen and five control buttons. Four on the front side and one on the side. The first button is to turn on and off the device, as well as select the measurement mode. 
The next button captures the measurement result on the screen and adjusts the brightness of the screen. The third button includes the function of detecting the electric field and the phase wire. And the fourth button resets the indicators on the screen, and also turns on and off the flashlight. The button on the side turns the screen 180 degrees. This is a very useful function in these current ticks. This button also enables the current measurement mode. Also on this side there is a speaker and a Type-C connector for charging the device. At the bottom there are two connectors for connecting probes or thermocouples. On the back side is a flashlight, which is also used as a charging indicator, and a battery compartment. The battery capacity is 750 milliamps hour. Now I will connect the probes and check these current tongs in all measurement modes. To turn on the device, you need to press and hold this button. Now each press of this button will switch measurement modes. The first mode is the measurement of constant voltage. As I have already said, these current tongs have a wonderful function of turning the screen 180 degrees. To expand the screen, you need to press and hold this button. A very useful function, because it allows you to work with current pliers, both with the right hand and with the left. I'm measuring the voltage of this battery. 1.34 volts. As you can see, it works very quickly. Now I will connect the power supply, and I will change the voltage within 20 volts. Current clamps react very quickly to changes in the input voltage. The next point is to change the AC voltage. The voltage in the household network is 243 volts. There is a slight delay within 2 seconds, but it is within acceptable limits. The next point is the measurement of resistance. I'm measuring two resistances. The first is 200 kiloohms. The device shows 202 kiloohms. In this case, it works very quickly. Another resistance at 10 ohms. 10.8 ohms. Next, check the diodes and the electrical circuit, as well as the sound signal. As you can see, there is a very small delay in this mode, but it is insignificant. Now I want to see if this multimeter can light up the LEDs when checking. The multimeter shows a voltage drop of 1.7 volts. 2.6 volts. 2.5 volts. Well, as indicated in the instructions, the voltage on the probes in this measurement mode is really 3 volts. Next, the capacity measurement mode. I'll check some capacitors. Electrolytic capacitor for 470 microfarads. The device shows 466 microfarads. Another electrolytic capacitor for 2200 microfarads. 
2200 microfarads. That's right. It took about 4 seconds for the device to measure such a capacity. This is a pretty good result. And another capacitor for 10 nanofarads. Exactly 10 nanofarads. The next mode is frequency measurement. To check, I opened the tone generator, and now we will see the compliance of the indicators. The frequency is 300 Hz. Exactly 300 Hz. 2367 Hz. That's right. 11 kilohertz. Next, the temperature measurement. Now the device shows the temperature inside the case, 25 degrees. When a thermocouple is connected, the temperature from it is displayed on the screen. Now I will measure the temperature of this soldering iron. The next item is also a temperature measurement, but in Fahrenheit. The next time the button is pressed, the device goes into standby mode. To measure the current strength, you need to briefly press this button. At the beginning, the AC measurement mode is activated. The next time you click, we switch to the DC measurement mode. Now I'm going to measure how much current this lead strip consumes. To have something to compare it with, I will connect another multimeter. The current strength is 290 milliamps. Now I will reset the value on the screen and measure the current strength with these current dongs. The result is 293 milliamps. Very accurate. Practically one-on-one -on -one with this multimeter. At the beginning of this video, I said that these Win Apex 268B current pliers have a very important function, measuring small currents, starting from 2 milliamps. They can even be used to check the leakage current. Now I will check if this function really works. I have reduced the current on this lead strip to 8 milliamps. Let's see what the current tongs will show. The result is 8 milliamps. Exactly the same result as on the multimeter. Well, the Win Apex current pliers can really measure small currents and this is a very useful function. These current tongs can also record the measurement results on the screen. The measurement result remains on the screen. You can also use this button to adjust the brightness of the screen. To do this, press and hold it for a couple of seconds. Now you can adjust the brightness of the screen with short taps. The next button turns on the electric field detection mode. Another press turns on the phase wire search function. This is zero. This is a phase. The next button, as I said, is to reset the values on the screen and turn on the flashlight. It is obvious that the Win Apex 268B current clamp is a compact, but at the same time accurate and convenient measuring device that has useful additional functions such as screen rotation and measurement of small currents.
This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so as not to miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.